What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you another video update on Transformers Rise. That's right, the news keeps on coming in. Unofficial news have you, but news nonetheless. Like at this point we gotta take what we can get, because the actual companies associated with this project aren't budging on any details until it's time to do so. And there are some major details in this video that will change everything we thought about this project, so stay tuned. Now before we get started on the video, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, TubeBuddy. As a successful YouTube user, I often get questions asking what I use to get my videos tons of views, and the answer to that is TubeBuddy. This thing has helped me take my channel to the next level in ways I never imagined. It's a browser extension that helps new and experienced YouTubers grow fast and optimize their channels. I've been using this extension for years and it's constantly getting updated with new features, like the SEO tool that helps me come up with the perfect title, description, and tags to get more people to click on my videos. It even provides you with analytics besides your videos to see how much traffic your video is generating from various social media sites. The extension is absolutely free, but as a special offer, we're giving a 50% discount for channels that have less than a thousand subscribers that purchase the Pro Upgrade. All you have to do is enter in the code RISINGSTARBUDDY. So if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or taking your content to the next level, download the extension now. You can do so by clicking on this link that will be provided in the description of this video. So yeah guys, Transformers Rise is indeed an actual thing. We didn't believe it, but the cracks around this secretive project are starting to show. If you were one of the individuals who was lucky enough to see the leap cutscenes before they were swiftly taken down by Hasbro, you essentially saw what the game was going for. The first cutscene from the game's story campaign shows the Decepticons being in possession of a recorded message from the Autobot leader Optimus Prime. His message ends abruptly as he's about to reveal his last known quote. Coordinates. As a result, the Decepticons aren't able to gather all the information from the incomplete recording and Starscream is once again doing what he does best, which is scheming a devious plot of his own as the other Decepticons remain occupied with their search for Optimus Prime. Both Optimus and Starscream mention a new threat that has put both sides of the robot factions in danger. As Starscream looks towards Shockwave, who appears to be in charge of the Decepticon operation, he wonders of his motivation and whether he admires the new enemies. In the second cutscene, the Autobots are seen discussing nanomachines that have created this new threat that they're up against. It appears these nanomachines can also be used to infect other technology. Both factions are dealing with an intelligent virus, and the implication of what this thing could do is terrifying to the Autobots. Just want to note that these cutscenes are a work in progress, and they didn't feature any of the franchise's regular voice cast such as Peter Cullen, but fans can rest assured that Peter Cullen will be voicing the role once he's finished doing voice work for Rise of the Beast, the movie. It's been rumored that Transformers Rise will be a multiversal affair between the Autobots, Decepticons, and humans to stop a greater force that has released zombies through a nanomachine virus, and that great force would be the bringer of chaos himself, Unicron. Now, I know that the concept of this guy being a multiversal singularity has been retconned in most modern Transformers lore, but given the fact that the leaks suggest that we'll be seeing characters from different universes such as Armada, it's not too far of a stretch to assume that our boy Unicron will be returning to his original status where he's this multiversal singularity that can consumes different universes in the past and present. This is something that was highly alluded to in the Netflix series Transformers Kingdom, where Megatron realizes that Galvatron is his future alter ego who set out to change his history by destroying Unicron with the Matrix of Leadership. So yeah, we're taking it back to the basis with this one, and I'm hoping that this game fully embraces every noteworthy continuity such as Transformers Prime and the Bayformers. That's something that I feel will get everyone on board, because if we're gonna be honest, the Transformers community is a very segregated one. Obviously, with different generations comes different tastes. The G1 fans palette is totally different to that of the more recent fan palette of the Bayformers fandom. So giving everyone their preferred era of Transformers is a must if the developers want this game to have a huge player base. Speaking of developers, I wanted to talk about this game's development possibly being switched over to another team. This was something that was originally revealed by a YouTube TF creator by the name of RoboGamer1HD. He's a very reputable source who was kind enough to let me chime in on a video he made regarding these new details, and I highly recommend subscribing to his channel and hitting that notification bell to stay up to date on all the news regarding this game and any other Transformers project down the pipeline. He gets this news way before I do, like I'm just a messenger so check him out. But yeah, RoboGamer1HD reported on something that changes everything, and that is the switch from the initial development team which was Certain Affinity to the new teams which would be Splash Damage and Digital Extremes. Now I just want to point out that RoboGamer1HD has since privated his video on this he mentioned in a community post that he didn't necessarily put out any misinformation in his original video, it was just that he was forced to private this exclusive leak. And seeing this action pretty much 
source confirms that what he talked about was indeed real. It's just whoever the undisclosed source was providing him with these details didn't feel comfortable having this information made public just yet. It's already been rumored that the marketing campaign for Transformers Rise of the Beast movie is going to kick off in December and Hasbro wants to ride off that hype with this video game. So it's probably for the best that we wait it out now that we're creeping up on that big promo month. But yeah, even though Robo has since privated this video, he has still stated that Splash Damage and Digital Extremes will indeed be the team spearheading this project. And even though they are new additions to this game, they still fit perfectly with the gameplay style it's said to be going for. If you remember a while back, we got some leaked documents suggesting that Transformers Rise would be like Warframe, and this in my honest opinion seemed like the perfect formula for a free to play Transformers game. Warframe is arguably one of the best narrative driven online multiplayers out there, and above all else, the company that owns it also owns the previous studio that started working on Transformers Rise. So it sort of made sense that they go in that direction. If you ask me, that's a way better formula than what the Chinese consumers got with the 2017 Transformers Online game, which was a blatant Overwatch ripoff. But anyways, if you remember the video I made a couple years ago, I originally assumed that since the publisher of Transformers Rise just so happened to own Digital Extremes, they would just outsource some of the key developers to work alongside certain affinity. While that isn't exactly what happened, they are allegedly going to be working in tandem with Splash Damage. And in my opinion, this was the best move because they obviously know the Warframe mechanics inside and out. And I would absolutely love to see what their design team would do with the Autobots and Decepticons. Like that's what I like about Warframe the most the character designs man. Now in regards to splash damages involvement in this game's development, I think they also fall perfectly in line with the other selected developers. And once again, it's due to the fact that this is another studio under their parent company Tencent. This was a relatively new acquisition that most likely happened a little while after the TF Rise project started being developed. Back in 2020, their original parent company Lei Yu got bought out by Tencent. And if you guys have been following most of the bigger Transformers projects, you know that Tencent has been connected with them in some kind of way. Like they were the ones who published that Chinese Transformers Online game that I mentioned earlier. Word around the campfire is that they really want to make a big AAA online Transformers game. And all the pieces seem to be lining up for this thing to manifest. I think Splash Damage is going to be a main contributor when it comes to the multiplayer aspect of this title because that's what they specialize in, multiplayer support. Like this studio was originally comprised of a team of talented modders and it's since expanded into something that aids in giving the best online multiplayer experience. So so if this leak is indeed true, I think this game is going to be in good hands, at least in terms of its online multiplayer. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. As I always say, it's important to take all of this information with a very small pinch of salt. We won't know if the alleged leaks and rumors are true until we hear it right out of the horse's mouth. So yeah, but let me know your thoughts on this. Are you digging these details of this game potentially being Warframe meets Transformers? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, I'd appreciate it if you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. But if you really enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you shared it on all the different social media platforms with all your friends and followers. Sharing really makes a difference. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.